Welcome back. The Congress has hit out at the Prime Minister for allegedly refusing to wear skull caps and visit mosques in the country, but doing the very same during his foreign visits. Congress leader Abhishek Manu Singhvi attacking the Prime Minister in a tweet in which he posted a conversation between a reporter and senior Congress leader Kamal Nath during a press conference. And Kamal Nath, in his response to the reporter's question, took a jibe at the Prime Minister by saying that he has put a topi on the entire nation. Now, it does not matter whether he agrees to wear a skull cap, but uh, the Congress there attacking the Prime Minister on this topi issue. The whole country topi Well, the BJP has condemned the Congress MP's comment. The Congress is now standing strongly behind Mr. Kamal Nath. Prime Minister has been very fond of caps, you know. I have photographs of Prime Minister wearing about 18 different head gear, different parts, northeast. So it's, I mean, he's very fond of caps, but skull cap in India is no, no. Prime Minister is always on camera. So the point is, our uh, the Congress President is not 24 into 7 on camera. But here, the Congress President, you are only bothered to ca uh, cover him when he's on an election campaign. So if he goes to the temple or the church or the mosque, then you discover that. Your discovery should be to the man in his private capacity. Well, I think uh, that's a very, very poor taste there. Why, why, why should Kamala say that? And obviously, the uh, idea is to mock and belittle the Prime Minister by saying something like that. The Prime Minister is free to visit wherever he wants to visit. That's his choice. The Prime Minister, when he's, he's got an international trip, he's in you know, a bilateral country. Obviously, there are various nuances uh, in, 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 different, in different countries. Everyone adheres to, and there are there's, there's, there's protocols to be followed. So there are various things to be done. So by, uh, uh, questioning the Prime Minister on his international bilateral visits and where he goes and where he doesn't go is something that I think this uh, speaks very lowly of the, of, of the people who are making this charge. The senior Congress leader Kamal Nath's uh, topi comment on the Prime Minister now sparking a massive political controversy. Executive editor Meetu Jain joins us for more on this. And in the run up to the 2019 elections, the Congress leaving no stone unturned to uh, you know, take a swipe at the Prime Minister. And the latest is this topi remark. That's right. In fact, remember yesterday Kamal Nath held a press conference where, of course, one of the attacks was on the Prime Minister and, the, and Kamal Nath said that the Prime Minister has put a topi on the entire nation, essentially meaning to say that he has conned the entire nation. Of course, Sambit Patra and the BJP are extremely upset at the fact that, you know, the allegation of the Congress is that he's conned the entire country. But yes, uh, the fact that, you know, the BJP is using one Joomla after the other is something that the Congress has often said. But the more important important thing is that in the run up to 2019 and of course also the assembly elections in Madhya Pradesh and elsewhere Kamal Nath and others are now sharpening the strategy in taking on the prime minister especially whether it is on uh, remarks made on religious lines or otherwise and remember also Avantika just yesterday Kamal Nath said that there were at least 60, 60 lakh fake ID voter ID cards in, in Madhya Pradesh itself so essentially several serious allegations being made there by uh, by the Congress party. One has to see how the Congress, I mean, the BJP is going to be taking it. But at the moment, yes, knives are out on both the sides. Oh, absolutely. And we're not seeing the end uh, of this, isn't it? With the BJP also expected to come up with a very sharp retort. Absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, Sambit Patra and of course several others in the BJP have been saying that it does not behove the Congress to make such kind of allegations, um, especially against the Prime Minister and talking about uh, you know the, um, these kind of topi remarks. And uh, so one has to see what uh, what comes out in the days to come. But yes. Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, the, the BJP is also, of course, going to be having a counter strategy in place, Avantika. Right. All right, uh, Mithu, uh, are, we, are we getting to hear anything from uh, the Congress camp on this? Because there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, backlash uh, as far as this comment of Kamal Nath is concerned on this topic controversy. But uh, a lot of senior leaders standing up to what Kamal Nath had to say. And it's interesting because Kamal Nath also has now the added responsibility to ensure a Congress win in Madhya Pradesh.
Well, Tom Madakan made a very interesting remark. He he actually counted all the different kind of headgears that the prime minister has been wearing at different uh, the, uh, the different uh, you know times. But he said that when it comes to wearing a a, a skull cap, that is um, you know that is usually the Muslims wear. That's something that the prime minister is a no no for the prime minister. When he goes abroad, also of course he does all the politically correct things. There he's seen more as a dove rather than as a hawk. But when it comes to India, it's a Hindutva approach that they take. So essentially. a very very hard line approach that the that the bjp has been taking the congress yes. been, has been attacking both these uh, you know this this attitude of the bjp and saying that you know they have one one face for the world and one face for india all so right we we'll leave it at that mithu thank you so much for joining us thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to